They say we learn a lot more when we lose than when we win. You made it. Whose place is this? Who let you in? You are uh, working on something dressed like that? You okay? You need to stop asking if I'm okay. I didn't think Shabazz would do Houdini with the money. And Sebastian would leave because of that. So you're not okay? Have you called Sebastian? He's the one who walked away. If you're building a house and a nail breaks, do you stop building the house or do you change the nail? <laughs> Help me find Shabazz. Or get me in touch with the three wise men. <laughs> the three wise men? Dressed like that? I can clean up. Good. Because I need your team to do something for me as well. There's no team. Seb is gone. I mean, Nathan left and I told Isabella and Jack that that was a one-time thing. She doesn't think so. And she wants to do more. I mean, who do you think told me where you were that night? Tavi, I know you. Did you really show up and I tell me you want something? Oh. She's here. Who? I needed your help with something. But uh, I don't think you could do it. It's impossible. What's impossible? Working, working? Like a real job? I don't know. You didn't say. I'm right here, guys. What are we doing here? We're spending quality family time together. Okay. Sebastian, come on in and have a seat. Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Carter. My doors are always open. What can I do for you this time? Some members of the firm don't feel like they're getting the recognition they deserve. Like a promotion? Who? You can speak freely. Charles Edda, Samara, Singh, Rebecca Aguilar. You feel like there's some type of discrimination? You don't want to worry it that way. Okay, good. No lawsuits then? No, that's not what we want. Then let's talk. Off the record, of course. What do you want? We just want to be treated fairly. Are you implying that you're not being treated fairly? You know, working is a privilege many folks don't have in these tough economic times. How long have you been here? Four years. Not working here. How long have you been in the country? 17 years in May. That's just not enough time. Certain positions require an American touch. Some things need to be as American as apple pie, as American as NFL. As American as immigrants. A is for apple, B, banana, C, um, cantaloupe, cherries, cranberries. Yeah. An American would know the answer to that. You're just not ready. My doors are always open. Thank you for listening, Mr. Carter. I'll let them know to be patient and I'll let you know if I hear anything, even from the other party. Who's this Matheson Oku guy? No clue who that is. Why? One of our clients, Damien Miller, was asking about him. Damien Miller? Did he mention me? No, I just figured he was one of your people, so maybe you should know him. 
Your final paycheck. I hate to do this, but we don't have any other options. What were you doing, Jack? Your kids' names are Gabriel and Marlene, right? Marlene just had a birthday. That's nice. Kids are the best. You know, I'm willing to bet that you don't remember the names of my girls. That's okay. Their father's not in the picture, and it's just me and my wife. And we will do anything to take care of those girls. What? This is a joke. What are we really doing here, Tavi? This is Pastor Blessing Osemica. She runs the Living Faith Ministry. And she has various methods to steal and extract money from her congregation. Now, this is the impossible thing I mentioned. This is not a one-man operation, and I need your help to stop her. So what's the plan? You decide who, when, and how. But if you help me, I will find the guy who took off with your money. Now remember, this is a team operation. There's me, there's you, there's Jack. I can talk to Sebastian, you can get Iminathi. What if I tell you I can get this coin from under this bottle without touching it with my hand? And I can do it in under a minute. That's not possible. How? <laughs> That's for me to worry about. But if I do this, you will get the team and help me. Sounds good. Most cons are about diversions. He'll do something to distract in the opposite direction so that we don't pay attention to what he's really doing. Watch his hands. Okay, it's done. You lose. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. In my hand without touching the bottle in under a minute. <laughs> so, do we have a deal? brother. I know. Hey, Minati, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You owe me. your own gallery. Oh, it's a lot more complicated than that. But, okay, yes. Congrats. This is gonna be good. Thanks. Oh, I told Isabel to meet me here. Is that okay? For sure. Um, I gotta take off, but it was nice seeing you. Yeah, it was nice seeing you too, Bilella. Will I see you again? I mean, I'm, of course, I'll see you again. What I meant was, can I see you again? Yes, sure. Um, 
Let's do lunch without your sister serving us. Lunch? Okay. sister's a woman now. Yeah. She was a kid when we came here. We all were kids. So, are you coming? We got Tavi to help us find Shabazz, but he wants us to do something in exchange. Why all the tralala? We get Shabazz, we get the money back. Us, we. Yes, us. We're a team. One foot can't walk without the other. Now I don't walk, I drive. You used to be fun, Seb. Do it for me and come find out what he has to say. He can't move forward without you. I've moved on. Sometimes you need to take a step back to be able to move forward. My mother always said, when we gather together in the moonlit village ground, it is not because of the moon. We can all see it from our individual homes. We come together because it is good for family and friends to do so. We're better together, so thanks again for coming. How much did you say she's taken? About 48,000 in the last two years. It's a, it's a small church, so it's a lot of money. Before we go on that journey, do you have any personal connections with her that we need to know about? You don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. I'm only here because Isabel asked me to come and out of respect for Tavi. Are you guys sure about this? You have to understand what the church represents, that it represents hope, love, and salvation to a lot of people. People need something to believe in. That's why we need to do the right thing. Trust me, she has a history that goes back more than 12 years. We still need to do some preliminary work. Okay, what do you have in mind? Isabel will meet with the bookkeeper from the church and I'll work on making contact with the target. You and Seb will be husband and wife. See how much info you can get from the parishioners. Jack will make the documents we need, do some digging online, and come in later as the insight man. What? Well, uh, explain, please? Means you're the final piece of the puzzle. Oh. And what about you? I come in at the 25th hour, if you're need me. In the meantime, I'm here looking for Malcolm X or Shabazz or whatever his name is. Yeah, that we need to do. I'll find him. So, husband, when are we going to church? Amen, amen, amen. It's not the amount that matters. It's the heart of the giver. And the heart gives because Need. There's a need. We all know there are people, programs, and pursuits in the church that need periodic assistance. Remember, sowing always equals reaping. It's all for the blessings of God's people and the thousands in our community. <laughs> so in other words, there's no business like church business. Let loyalty be our specialty. This is our spiritual house. Let's keep growing it together. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. And you can't go to another church, okay? She's actually stopped some patrons from leaving by making them sign contracts or covenants every two to three years. Next month, we're going to be moving into a bigger space. <laughs> and that is all thanks to you and to him. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Amen, amen, amen. When we do as he says, he will pour riches upon our lives. So you buy whatever they tell you to buy, and you donate money whenever they tell you to donate. 
we have to do something before she moves to that bigger location. Yeah, but it's not just the gospel that's for sale. It's books and DVDs and T-shirts, conferences, spiritual rewards. I mean, the congregation is patronizing the businesses. Conferences? Yeah, she said that Jesus did the same thing with the Sermon on the Mount. Someone must know what's going on. Elizabeth, we spoke earlier. Mm. I'm Chance Johnson with the Burbank Weekly. Yes, of course. Um, do you, do you have a badge? Badge? So you're uh, doing a story about fraud in Southland churches? Yes. And I understand you worked at Living Faith Ministries? Mm -hmm. I was the bookkeeper. I caught it and reported it. Nothing happened. And then I was quickly shown the door by the pastor herself. No one cared? Very few do. And most don't even believe it when you tell them. I can tell you everything about this woman preying on the vulnerable and the stupidity of the gullible. So that atmosphere of trust and forgiveness is what creates the vulnerable and the gullible. Yeah, and special offerings are also a big deal. Praise God. Our most generous believer, who is also the most and top person for the past month, is Dr. Melvin Obina. She's calm and somehow inspiring. How are we gonna stop her? We don't choose to be born. And rarely ever do we choose to die. Isn't it interesting how these are two of the most important things in our lives, and yet we can't choose where, when, how or even why they happen. But in between birth and death, God gives us free will. The freedom to choose between right and wrong. Let us bring God into helping us make our decisions. In doing that, it will determine whether our future will be secure and we'll have God's blessings on it. Let us be as Joshua was and declare, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. God promised Joshua good success if he obeyed the words of the Bible and chose to follow him. And we have choices of how we can follow him. By our thoughts, our words, and most importantly, our actions. <laughs> actions like giving. The more you give, those additional offerings are investments into the kingdom of God. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. for heaven now the wrong places. Well, where else should they go? I mean, don't you listen to the pastor? There's always choices, at least two options. In work, in relationships. Oh, let it go, Sebastian. I chose the option that was best for me. And Tito was that option? Tito? I mean, I see you guys. Me and Tito. I'm lost here. I see you guys. You see what you want to see. 
I'm not the one that quit on us. It was time to settle down. I wasn't ready. I like to think that most women would Yeah, be... most women. Hey, um, do you know any fruits that start with the letter C? I mean, name them without thinking. Yeah, cherries, cintrons, cantaloupe, coffee. Coffee? Yeah, coffee comes from a seed. Anything that bears a seed bears fruit. How do you know so many fruit? Mm. Doesn't everyone? We know him as Shabazz. Canadians and Americans call him Don the Khan, while the Brits say he goes by Easy Eddie. Not sure exactly what country he's from or who he is, actually. The good news is I found out he's in Chicago. And Tito wanted to meet with the three wise men, so I'm working on setting up a meeting. We still have three wise men? Uh, <laughs> who or what are the three wise men? Three wise men. Are these the same three wise men you used to talk about? Yeah. I thought they were in New York. Sometimes they do the West Coast. Let me know what you need. You have the keys. Lock up when you're done. See you guys. Okay, so that's definitely something for us to think about. Maybe less thinking and more doing. Let's stay on task, people. Jack? Right, uh, so Living Faith Ministries doesn't have annual reports because even though the tax code says that nonprofits have to file, churches are exempt. Okay. On top of that, what you just said, just to piggyback off of you, they do have financial records, though. Right. They all do. Well, according to the bookkeeper, the records are kept on a computer in the pastor's office. We'll get the records. And I'm thinking we do DCDM. DCDM? Devout Christian dying millionaire. That's the one where wealthy foreigners and dying millionaires give all their money to religious organizations as repentance for their lives as sinners. She's selling the old building because they're moving the bigger and better. We go in like we want to buy, do DCDM, and she falls for it. Hold on, who are we trying to protect here? I mean, there's no clear case of fraud, and pastors need to make a living. Right, yeah. In the Bible, it says that every worker deserves his wages. It does, right? Right. Fair wages, not excessive wages. Who are we to decide what's excessive or not? Okay. Some CEOs make Sam, billions. a pastor is not a CEO. It's not. So how are we gonna break into the pastor's office? What? These are just to make sure we stay committed to each other as we help each other grow spiritually. The pastor will be here shortly to look it over and co-sign it. She is? When? In time now. <laughs> um, great. Where's the ladies' room? Out the door, take the left down the hall, you will see it. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right. back. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. <laughs> oh, did I make the cover of Time magazine? I mean, that's gonna take a while. It's gonna mm -hmm. take a, longer than you thought anyways. <laughs> All right, so membership covenant. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna have to take this outside. Oh. Excuse me a bit. Um, All right. So I was telling your husband on page two. Okay.
Could we take it home and maybe take a look at it? It'd be nice for you to sign right away, you know. Hello. This is the couple that I talked about, Michelle and Terrence Milton. Welcome. Let's go to my office. I mean, we're comfortable here, but it's up to you. I need help. How can I help? I have a question about the building, uh, the property, rather. This way. We'll be in my office. I would really prefer to talk to the pastor. Make an appointment. Right now, you need to move. After you. So he works from the couch. He's just a friend, Kendra. I see a ring. You have it in a fair? You wait for me to leave and then that's when all the nasty things happen? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, he does have a James Bond cuteness to him. Stop talking. Okay, go to work or do whatever it is you have to do. Look, he's been here every day this week. He can't go anywhere else. No, he has no family? No white friends? I mean, no homeless shelters, no Starbucks? I mean, Starbucks gives free Wi-Fi. Sounds fishy to me. Stop fishing. There's nothing to catch. OK, if that's mm -hmm. what you say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could hear you guys. She's right. <sighs> Tito doesn't have his place anymore. And all my friends, they talk too much. Sebastian? <sighs> I can't talk to him about these things. Didn't you say you tell Isabel everything? I'll tell her when I'm ready. See, that's why marriage isn't for me. I'll tell her. My dad's a pastor. Ugh. The good kind. And he always felt like the personal counselor to the entire congregation. That's how I feel with you guys. Like, I just need to step away from this madness. I am tired of being the odd one out all the time. I'm the odd one out. How are you the odd one out? Oh. <laughs> when I first got here, I used to read everything in my junk mail. <laughs> All hundred messages a day. <laughs> Villageois. <laughs> oh my God. Do you know what it meant to have a computer with internet for 24 7? Didn't you come from money? Yeah, I mean, we had everything we wanted. Uh, okay, but not the internet. We didn't know we needed it. Donc, dis-moi. Dis-moi quoi? Tu as toujours fait de l'art? Ah, actuellement, j'étais censée être euh, un docteur, selon ce que mes parents voulaient. OK. Mais un jour, euh, mon prof dans mon pays m'a fait voir la beauté et le pouvoir émotionnel des images et des sculptures. Et depuis ce temps, c'est de la manière dont je vois ce monde. Et tes parents, alors? Mes parents. <rire> ils ont réagi comme des parents africains. Ouais. Mais éventuellement, ils ont vu mon obsession. Et un jour, mon père m'a dit qu'il a réalisé qu'on ne peut pas forcer l'eau sur la colline. Et c'était sa bénédiction à lui. Wow. 
pense que c'est magnifique que tu as suivi ta passion. Oui. Je suis vraiment heureuse et aussi reconnaissante de pouvoir vivre cette carrière. Alors, euh, Solange m'a dit que euh, tu comptais partir. <rire> Il y a une compagnie qui s'appelle Centurion Group qui m'a fait une offre. Ils font beaucoup de travail sur le continent, donc euh, c'est là-bas que je peux aider le plus, quoi. Tu vois. Et quand est-ce que tu comptes faire ça? I mean, c'est l'année prochaine, mais je n'ai même pas encore décidé. Et qu'est-ce qui ne va pas avec ce que tu fais en ce moment? Ah, euh, j'aime plus. Ah, OK, d'accord. Donc, tu attends que les choses vont de ta façon ou bien tu veux que les choses deviennent de ta façon? Mon Dieu. <rire> OK. Euh... <rire> Un peu des deux. Je n'ai plus la croyance et euh, la passion. J'ai besoin des deux pour fonctionner. Thank you. Thank you. Bon appétit. So I've seen the financial records and they've obviously been doctored. You can tell by the simplicity of the statements and the cash transactions lend to it. And I don't want to bore you guys with all the fun details, but she's definitely been stealing. And that means that there's probably a large stash of cash somewhere that Uncle Sam doesn't know about. Our plan depends on her being impulsive. She's not. Nothing seems to phase her. I mean, after you met her, what'd you think? She's shady, but... No, she's not that bad. I mean, okay, she's not the type of person who does things like... Blessing my sister. She's shady, but she doesn't make you pay before coming in, so... What? It actually happened to me before. You know, I saw a video on YouTube of a Kenyan pastor who was falsely pretending to be talking to God on a cell phone. How do you know it's false? Seb, this is serious. Okay, she's shady, but it doesn't make her guilty. Not guilty and being innocent are not the same thing. Okay, forget about her for a second. People are always gonna give their money to the church. It's not about them, it's about her abusing their trust. You can't stop religion. Walk away, find a different target. <laughs> yeah, like, like you, right? You're so good at walking away and giving up. Walking away and giving up are two different things. Get that through your thick skull. Taking her money is not gonna solve our problem. Aren't you the one that said it's always about the money? Wait, 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 my thick skull? Your only tool is a hammer, so you see every problem like a nail. Is, is that me or is that you? You guys really need to get over whatever it is that's bothering the two of you. We need to rethink this strategy. Now you could count me out. What do you propose? We'll go ahead without him. What are you doing at my home? Uh, home is where the heart is. This is my home, too. Why is Jack going so late? Hmm? Oh, look, you don't have to call anyone. I'll be gone soon. What do you want, Jabari? Oh, you look great. Where are my girls at? They go to school. At night? They go to school, so they're sleeping now. All right. <laughs> hey, did you know that children are the reward of life? What do you want, Jabari? Home affairs shouldn't be talked about in public. I am not letting you into my home. Now, what do you want? I miss my beautiful girls. We had an agreement. Exactly. 
Now, I know you don't want me around, so I'm thinking we double the amount this time. 10,000 for each one sounds fair, right? We don't have that kind of money lying around. Oh, which you will. There are some things. Unless you want me to wait for your uh, <laughs> Zungu man. But speaking of which, is he still at the same branch? I've been there all week and I haven't seen him. Get me what I need. I'll be in touch. I love. I know they lie, yeah. Each and every day, I work from nine to five. Uh. Holy days off, I don't take days off. The only thing on my mind is Bernie made of. Rent is overdue, bills are overdue, dreams are overdue. My love is overdue. My girl be calling me, bang be calling me. Marabu calling me, telling me, do I have more money? Hey, money, money, where are you money? I've been knocking on the door, money, you, 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 you. Wait here. Salam. Salam. I love what you're doing with the place, Aisha. It's different. Change is a constant that's needed. Yes, it is. So is this when you're going to throw a few sincere compliments my way? Act like you're interested in me or at the restaurant? and offer me something really cool and exciting in exchange for information on how to find the three wise men? <laughs> Why do you want to meet them? My brother will love a face-to-face. -face. Who? Tito. You don't remember me, but we met three years ago at the Cultural Street Festival. Subira introduced us, and then I introduced you to Sebastian. Oh, that's right. Sebastian, the lawyer, yes. He helped my cousin with his asylum case. Yeah, what's up? Jabari came to my home asking for money. Fuck, fuck. I didn't think he'd... Think he'd put two and two together? My bad, I wasn't thinking. Where are you? With Tito. Don't say anything. I'll tell him myself. He wanted to see the girls. You don't do that. He's their father. And I'm their mother. Not listening. We don't need to do all of that. It's a waste of time. I told you already. See, just hold on a second. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Hey, you open? Yep. Yeah, um, let me get the fish combo. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, hey, just one second. Jack, a person with too much ambition can't sleep in peace. We have to keep it simple. Thanks. Your husband wants us to go for more money. Control your man. Control your boy first. Don't get me started with Seb. He made some valid points. Stop trying to control things that don't matter and find a, a balance that works for all of us. It's like when I play hide and seek with the girls. You can't be the one that's too hard to find or the one that's too easy to find either. Everything all right with you? I'm good. That's a lie. Am I you? My lies have a purpose. What's bothering you? It's cool. You already have enough to worry about. 
Hey, I'm your older brother. You could tell me anything. I told Bella I was born in Cameroon, and she asked me how I survived. <laughs> how you survived? She said she saw on TV that there's no food in Africa. <laughs> Perception and reality. Isn't it funny how in real life, perception trumps reality? <laughs> so I have an appointment to see the three wise men today. You're gonna need a suit and tie. I'll get a suit and tie. Who's in there? It's the man Cameron. You guys ready for the jollof? Of course, man. <laughs> Ah, there we go. You share this with me? Sure. What's a good tip? I can never figure it out. How much was it? $16.95. Well, two dollars fifty cents is fifteen percent. Three forty is twenty percent. Okay. Well, gave him a twenty. Told him to keep the change. Three and a nickel. That's just a little bit over seventeen percent. Good. Now that was completely believable. Yeah, because my math is correct. No, no, you're missing my point. If the situation calls for a doctor, you come looking like a doctor. You say you're a doctor. We believe it. Know your situation, dress the part, the rest is easy. Okay, so when I go in to see the pastor, know the situation and dress the part. Yes. Are you ready? Is anybody really ready for this kind of thing? That was a yes or no question. Okay, look, I think we can take her for more. She's selling the building for 470, right? So we cut a check for 500, and then we take 10%. Why not do more? Talk to Tito. I did. He won't go for it. I'm here to see the three wise men. Whoa. I've been looking for a suitable home to start my own ministry, and my sister is helping me with the business side of things. I moved here from Mombasa four years ago, and she's been here for... Almost 20 years. So, Pastor Kosi, we can't keep calling each other Pastor. May I call you Ben? Ben. And what do you do? I'm a CPA. We've met before. I remember. We think this location is perfect, and we'd like to rent initially and then buy a few months down the line. Why not buy right now? We can't afford to at this time. How is that going to change in a couple of months? We can't really talk about that right now. Anything you say to me in confidence will remain as such. We can tell her. We're trying to do business here. Which is why you brought me in. Ben and Ara, I want to help you too. There are several offers but I'd rather do business with you. We have a letter from a donor. We believe that this wonderful opportunity came to us from God, and we cannot keep it to ourselves alone. Hmm. Generously help us extend hands of giving to the less privileged and orphans within your locality. You know this is fake, right? Mr. Davenport, have you ever heard of 419? Yo, 
You get those emails because there is money. It's just not as much as they say, unfortunately. But, you know, the trick is knowing the difference. Now, there's all kinds of people out there that'll drop a million dollars on you just so they can get into a different tax bracket. Those emails that you're talking about, they come from Africa. I don't know many Africans. The African continent has honed thousands of millionaires. True. But I just don't know any of them. But I do know Melinda Gates and Susan Buffett and Oprah and my employer, Patty Larson. Now, all that Ben and Ara have to do is show me a building that they own and a congregation. Once they do that, they get a check for 600000 That's all they have to do. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is fulfill the wishes of a dying woman. My employer wanted them. But everything goes through me. And the check hasn't been written to them yet. Well, like I said, it could be made out to anyone. You know, for the right reasons. Well, I own the building. And I have a congregation. How can we make this happen? Oh, I wonder. So, you want us to give you $400,000? It's just for appearances. We'll get it back to you within a week. It's, it's what we do. We... we know who you are and what you do. Why would we give it to you when your house is not even in order? Disagreements don't mean we can't work together. The money will help solve the problem. Not always. More money, more problems. Huh? We want to see the lawyer. Sebastian? No, any lawyer you can find. Yes, Sebastian. <laughs> is that a problem? Sebastian? Um, yes, he's here. Come in. Hey, husband. Work husband, it's a joke. I'm Imanathi, by the way. I work with Sebastian on his pro bono legal stuff and immigration cases. Cool. Um, um, well, uh, I'll be in. I should have um, called before coming. Uh, no biggie. Let's go. What's up? I'm stepping away. I really don't feel comfortable. So Tito, Isabel, and Jack? Jack? He has his own ideas. Yeah, but you can't do this now. It's... You left. Yeah, but I had to. Same here. Salt and sugar are both white. Doesn't mean it's the same thing. <sighs> there you go again, assuming you know what's best for me. I just wanted you to know. And I wanted to tell you in person. You wanted me to lie to him? Is that a problem? Really? Did you tell him? I did. He bought it? He bought it because it's true. I'm done. 
What are you talking about? You know what my dad does. I don't feel, I don't feel right about this. I'm dealing with Seb and I have to worry about you as well? Now you don't have to worry about me anymore. It means nothing. It means nothing. It means nothing. I need you. <laughs> you know what? Not to change the subject and not because it's Jack, okay? But if I see a potential problem, I'll say it. What now? For Jack to be the inside man? I mean, I know he'll do what you say, but competence level wise, it doesn't even work. I'll take loyalty over competence any day. Competence you can buy, loyalty you can't. It's still a bad idea. Jack will be fine. I expect him to be himself and do exactly what he needs to do. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see about that. Please? We can get more money out of this pastor. You think so? Oh, yeah. You should have seen me. He was beautiful. I had a reading out of the palm of my hand. I didn't know I could be that cool. Well, that's why I married you. Could use the extra cash. Yeah, me too. When do you get your commission? Once the transfer of funds takes place. I want to make sure that you're appropriately rewarded for doing this. That should go a long way in making all this happen. 10% sounds good. Works for me. What should I tell Ben Cozy and his sister? The reward I'm giving you should motivate you to find the words to inform them that you're going in a different direction. Everyone wants something in return. Even preachers. We aim to be rewarded in heaven. Sometimes on earth, that's why you're so rich. Can a pastor be rich? I don't think so. For me, I live by faith and a willingness to reward like-minded individuals for their time and consideration. I'm gonna need signatures on those. You can call me when you're ready. You know, they say cash is king and Queen, where I'm from. Well, hello there. <laughs> Can we shake hands now, Tito? No, I, I wasn't sure if... If I'll give you a hug because you and my brother were fighting. <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, we don't talk about all the stuff y'all do, but I can figure some things out on my own. Be a gentleman. Congrats on uh, getting this space. Thanks. Oh, the rendezvous with Sebastian is tomorrow. Cool. Thanks for setting that up. Well, that was easy. The hard part is what needs to be done during the meeting. Oh, I see you got everything all figured out. Yep. You should catch up. <laughs> it goes over there. Uh, there's more. Oh, got it. <laughs> I feel like we're missing something. Tito says everything is still going according to plan. <laughs> that look. You know me. You know that I like a good plan B. <laughs> OK, that did not come out right. Plan B is to make sure that plan A works. 
So, you and your brothers, huh? A family business type thing? I guess so. As long as I could remember, Tito and I have always looked up to Tavi. He was the coolest big brother. Took care of everything, took care of everyone. I guess we've always looked up to him. So you're the one that called him in to get things back on track? Yeah, he's the only one that could. And he's the one that came up with the plan to go after the pastor. Hmm. He used to be very religious. And lost his way? Or found it. Depends on how you see it. The website for the church in Kenya is authentic. However, no one knows a pastor Ben Cozy. Most companies also have email domains that match the company website. So the fact that he has a Gmail account is odd, very odd. It could just be some typical African oversight. Davenport also has a Gmail account. It's all very dubious. They said the check would be for 500, and he said six. The paperwork doesn't match either. It says 900. The number keeps increasing. Why? Now it's gonna give him 10% commission. He's trying to cheat me? That mother... So what are we waiting for? Have a seat. Good to see you, Mr. Davenport. Do we have a deal? Ask him. Do you know how much that is, Mr. Davenport? Um, it's <clears throat> nine stacks of 10,000, so 90 grand. And once I give this to you, you disappear? Greed and the urge for quick money. That's your vice, isn't it? You can tell me. I won't get angry. Anger only leads to more anger. I have no use for it. What's going on? How did you find out? The emails didn't match up. And the amount kept changing. That's sloppy. I pay attention to detail. Pastor, I don't understand. Mr. Davenport can explain. You heard what she said. Get out. How do we make Pastor Blessing lose her cool? They say we learn a lot more when we lose than when we win. That's why we have to go back. Way back. Sebastian, I was wrong. You were right. I messed up with the Shabazz plan. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna do better. It's all good. I should have reacted better. Me too. You look like shit. 
I haven't slept for weeks. What's your excuse? Bring it in. See, I'm a great leader because I surround myself with people like you who are better than me. Are you trying to impress me? Is it working? Tell me something. Do you know any fruits that start with the letter C? Corn? <laughs> Only an African would think that corn is a fruit. <laughs> I missed you, bro. Missed you too, man. So, what's the plan? You gotta go see the three wise men. And tell them that it's all good between us? Yeah. And tell them about Shabazz. We appreciate what you do, but naturally we want to help. However, as my father used to say, when two elephants fight, it is the grass that gets trampled. Nobody wins when the family feuds. Jay-Z? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't call it a feud. I prefer the term disagreement. But we do understand your concern, and uh, we'll handle it. As they say back home, no matter how long the night is, the day is sure to come. I'm guessing you've never been to Alaska. Well, that depends on when and where you go. put Shabazz on the hook for the 400,000. So, how long has he been working with you? All of last year. Glad to hear Shabazz is working with good people again. He's a great guy. He'll be the one to bring the 400,000 back to you. With interest? 20% is promised. You trust him? Of course. Good. Then he'll be in Chicago next week with Arnold. Yes. If not, let us know. Not a problem. We know where and how to find them. Did we do the right thing? Of course we did. So, what do you guys think? It's okay. They're using us to get even. And we're using them to give us a reason to get even. It works for me. I like it. Then we take care of our friends. Then we take care of family. Sorry. It wasn't your call. We needed the money. It was a good plan. She just got lucky. You? Yes. Luck. You think luck gets you this amount of money in your safe? Stolen money. They were 
wolves in sheep's clothing, trying to steal from me, from us. 99 days for the thief. One day for the master. I deserve this, and there's nothing you can do about it. from the ground up. And I own everyone who walks through those doors. Technically, you didn't really build it with your hands. You paid people. Shut up! Sebastian was right. It wasn't about the money. It was about the D. A distraction while we did what was important. Taking her power away. Shut up! Shut up and get out of my office! Get out! Get out! Where do you think you're going? Get out of me! <laughs> so, Tito, why don't we level with the three wise men? I mean, honesty pays. Yeah, the truth is bitter, but it must be spoken. Yes, the truth is bitter, so we'll do without it. You know, I was thinking, since we got Shabazz on the hook for the money, why didn't we take him for seven or eight? Why does everyone always find ways to disagree with me? I don't. You just did. But I want to say thank you, guys. We're a team, and I appreciate you. I mean, who is Michael without the Jackson 5? Really? <laughs> I mean, Thriller, <laughs> Man in the Mirror, Dirty Diana. Only the king of pop. Billy Jean, smooth criminal. The girl's mine. The Guinness World Records most successful entertainer of all time. Do you know what I meant? <laughs> Remember the time? Beat it. Black or white? <laughs> I mean, great example, bro, but you'll never be Michael. You'll always be Tito, and we'll always be your family. To family. To family. family. <laughs> So, do, um... I don't know this one. <laughs> That's Isabel. Oh, she's part of the crew. Oh. <laughs> one big family. Getting the three wise men on my tail? Smart. Hey, hey, hey. y'all need to relax. I just want to get my money. Ain't nobody fresher than a nigga. Ride a kick, skull, lick, not push a miller. Microphone check, it's the microphone ripper. You play, I go pass for your skin like caterpillar. I'm your idol, you a nine, or you can never be my rival. Suicidal with the flow, my two hands on the Bible. Ah. The flow, they boom, with a hook, I make disciples. Ah. Mess around, I never make a eulogy recital. Hello, my men, them. I got God fit for all my men, them. All that men and I'm a men, them. I know the air cock where you talk about my men, them. Hello, my chap, them. All that chap, then I'm a chap, them. All that I'm got, I'm a got them. I know the truth that I is got it, big Sam. Ain't nobody fresher than a nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga.